Hello, sports fans and football fans. Let me take you back to 1972, where we are going to watch the New York Jets take on the Houston Oilers in the Astrodome. 1972 game, even got the 1972 looks with the filter. Got the nice stadium, trying to make it look like the uh, Astrodome, the inside of the Astrodome. And we are, and with the video effects, we're trying to make it look like old time TV, 1972. And uh, hopefully that effect goes off all right. Oh, here we are. We're getting ready for the kickoff. We are in the Astrodome, so the receiving team is going to be the New York Jets. So we'll put the Jets up in there in the corner so that we know that they've got the ball. All right, so we're going to do the uh, kickoff. Houston kicks off, and the kickoff is a 6 and six is to the seven, number one. So the Jets catch the ball at the seven. They receive the ball at the seven yard line. And their return, um, let's see, what is that back one? Back one, number four, is going to be 29 yards. So three, 10, 25, and one. So the Jets have the ball first and 10 at the uh, at their own 36 yard line. And they are going to, they're gonna run their first play. Play is going to be an end run to the halfback. Now I should go over the offense for the, uh, for the Houston Oilers or for the uh, New York Jets first. Quarterback is going to, of course, be Joe Willie Namath. He'll be the starting quarterback. In the backfield, you're going to have uh, uh, Emerson Boozer at halfback and John Rigo Riggins at fullback. Tight end is going to be Rich Caster. And the uh, wideouts are going to be Eddie Bell and Don Maynard, and every once in a while, Jerome Barkham, Barkham will see his way into the game. So with that having been said, we are doing an end run with the halfback, and that is um, going to be, uh, that, as we said, is going to be Emerson Boozer. And he gets a, let's see, there is, they were, the defense was wrong, on their guess, but it doesn't matter. It's a nine. So it's a nine end run on the Houston defense, and that is zero yards. So they have a second down and 10. We have to move the uh, counter for that, for that play. And I want to point out Houston in 1972 only had one win. They were one in 13. So on second down, they're going to go off tackle with Rigo. And that is going to be a, they, they guessed right, but it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter. It's a nine on off tackle on their defense. And that is three yards. So Riggins gets himself three yards. And they have a third and seven, the Jets do. So third and seven, they're going to go short pass to the split end. And that is going to be... Eddie Bell. So they're doing a short pass to Eddie Bell. That's going to be a nine, and it is again on the Houston defense. Short pass nine is receiver. They'll roll the dice. And they were right. They were right on their guess. But that doesn't really matter. It's 19 yards either. No, it, wait a minute. Nope, that was six. So no, it is. It's incomplete. So the Jets have to punt. They get a punt of five, which is 43 back one. So one, 
10, 20, 30, 40, and 1. And Houston is returning from there. And they are going to be using the number two punt returner. But, of course, there is only one, and that's Ken Houston. Houston for Houston, and that's a 7. And that's going to be the punt return for the Jets special card. And uh, that's going to be 12 yards. So not a very good specialty team for the Jets. 1, 10, and 1. And so the Houston Oilers are now in control. In this nothing nothing game so far here in the first quarter. And they're going to do an end run with the halfback. And I should go through their offense. They will have Dan Pastorini at quarterback. Their running backs are going to be Fred Willis and Paul Robinson at halfback. Their um, flanker is going to be Ken Burrow. Split end will be Dave L. Smith. The tight end is Elvin Reed. And also occasionally Hoyle Granger will get into the game into the backfield as the fullback. But right now they have a first and 10 from their um, own 31-yard line. And they are going to do an end run with a halfback, and that is Paul Robinson. And they guessed wrong, and that is a seven. So they, they guessed wrong on the play, and it's Paul Robinson end run seven. And that's going to be a short gain, and we're going to roll the dice for that, figure it out. It's a seven, that's probably, yeah, just 50, it's 15 yards, but they'll take it. Four, ten, and one. So Houston has it first and ten now at their 46-yard line. And they're going to go off tackle with the fullback on second down, and that the fullback is Fred Willis. So Fred Willis going off tackle. And that's going to be a four off tackle on the Jets defense. And that's going to be four yards. So they've got a second and four. And they're going to go, let's see. They're going to go end run again with Willis. They're going to go back to Willis on the end run. And that's going to be a five end run, possible defensive penalty, and they guessed right. It doesn't matter, though. It's on the defense. The end run defense for the Jets is going to force a fumble. Fumble, possibly. Fumble, negative one, two to six, or 12. And it doesn't, so they do lose a yard. And they would have a third and seven here. Um, oh, yeah, we're going to roll for the defensive penalty, possible defensive penalty on the Jets. That is a nine, and a nine is opponent offsides. So the... Um, or wait a minute, no. Yeah, it is. It still is. Opponent offsides. So that means Houston was offsides, but they're going to de decline the penalty and force the third and seven. So on third and seven, they're going to go short to the split end. So they'll be throwing the ball to Dave L. Smith. And that's going to be a seven, short pass seven is a must run for Dan Pastorini. And they were, I guess it doesn't really, doesn't really matter if they're right or wrong, uh, but there was a possible offensive penalty. We'll have to check. Seven is seven yards. He would barely get the first down, but let's see if they have a, an offensive penalty. Five, I don't think they, wait a minute, they do, offsides. So they're going to lose five yards, and now they've got a third and um, a third and like, what is it, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12 or 13 yards here. 
So they're going to go, we're going to say the Jets are guessing pass. We're not going to roll for whether they're right or wrong. And uh, they're going to go short pass to the flanker. And the flanker for them is um, Ken Burrow. And there is a possible defensive penalty. It's an eight. Short pass, was it? Yeah, short pass eight. It's incomplete, but let's see if there's a defensive penalty on the Jets. And that is an eight. Eight is opponent number four. So this looks like it'll be another penalty on Houston. Um, let's see. And it was holding 10 yards from the line of scrimmage. But they are, you know what? They're going to accept it. They're going to accept the 10 yards. And they're going to force them to go on third down. And they are going to go long to the flanker. Now, of course, the, the problem with this, obviously they wanted to back them up and make them lose a little yardage. But the problem here is, if they get this, now we're going to say the Jets are guessing pass again. So that is going to be an eight. Eight on a long pass is incomplete when they're guessing right. So now they have to, the gamble paid off for the, for the Jets and the Houston will have to punt and it's a bad punt. 10 is 35 back one. So one, 10, 20, 30, and four. And back one for the Jets in the only back for the Jets is Chris Ferrisopoulos. I don't know. And that's a nine. That's going to be 10 yards. So he returns at 10 yards. And now the Jets are in business again. Pretty good field position, just like they had on their first possession. First and 10 from their 41-yard line. No score here, and the Jets go back into business. And they're going to come out. They're going to go long. They're going to go long to the flanker, and the flanker is Don Maynard. They're, going, they're shooting long for Don Maynard with the main man, Broadway Joe, at quarterback. They were right, though, and that's an eight. Eight long pass is a double long gain, and they're going to roll the dice for the long gain, and that's a seven. That's going to be the worst possible long gain, which is thirty, still 38 yards, so four, 10, 20, 30, and four, and that moves them all the way down to the Houston 21-yard line. So that paid off big time. And they are going to go end run with Emerson Boozer. And that is an eight. They guessed uh, they guessed wrong. Possible defensive penalty, but it's an eight end run on the Houston defense, which is two yards. Let's see if there is a penalty on Houston, five. They are offsides, so the Jets will obviously accept that. They have to move the 10-yard marker. They will accept that, and now they have a first and five. Or, a, yeah, first and five. And they're going to go line buck with Riggins on second down. Line buck with Riggo. And that's going to be a three on line buck on Houston. And that's going to be nine yards and a first down. Six, seven, eight, nine. And it's first and goal for the Jets from the seven yard line of Houston. And they're going to go. End run with Boozer again. Of course, we're playing 1972, 
1972 was a big running year, and there wasn't a lot of passing, and the passing was bad. So, three and run. That should be a short gain. It's on the Houston defense. There is a possible defensive penalty, but if they get a touchdown out of that, yep, it's a short gain and, and really a touchdown. So, that is a touchdown. Let's see if there is a penalty on Houston. That is a nine... And that is opponent offside. So actually, it's good that they rolled it because the opponent, the Jets, were offsides on that. And that backs them up five yards. And now they have a second and goal. Or no, they have a first. They still have a first and goal. But instead of the touchdown, they have no points. And they're going to go off tackle with Riggo. Off tackle with Riggins. And that's going to be an... A 3-8, and they were wrong. So let's see what that is. Off tackle 8 is 4 yards if they're wrong. So they get 4 yards out of that, and they have a second and goal from the 8-yard line. Second and goal from the 8 for the Jets. They're going to go short pass to the tight end. They're going to try and throw it in the end zone, see if they can get this, the quick score. Um, they were right on, their get, on the guess on the defense, but it doesn't matter. It's a five, and it's a short pass five on their defense, which is receiver and the tight end. It, now it does matter. That's an 11 on the tight end, and the tight end is Rich Caster. And that is going to be a 20-yard gain and a touchdown. And there was a possible offensive penalty, though, so we'll roll for the offensive penalty. That's a 10. And uh, they do have a penalty. The Jets do have a penalty again. It costs them. Uh, on passes, offense, 8. Or wait a minute. Um Or number six. And that's going to be holding. So they're going to, the Jets are going to be backed up 10 yards again. And they are going to try a, it, this is third down, so third and goal. Joe Willie Namath is going to drop back and do a short pass to the flanker. We're going to say that Houston is looking for it, so we're not going to roll the the dice for that four uh, then this is a short pass four on a Houston defense and that's going to be intercepted two to three or twelve and it is not so it isn't intercepted but it is incomplete and that was their I believe that was their third down play because uh, with all of this they got backed up enough that that was third down so the Jets are going to try to kick a field goal from the 23-yard line. And kicking a field goal from the 23, they are 2-5 to five good. Mm. But it is. It's good. And so the Jets have a 3-0 lead here. All right. So the Jets will now kick off. Their kickoff is a 7. That's to the... Five-yard line, number one. Houston receives it at the five. Their number one back is um, Willie, Willie Rogers is returning it, and he gets a 17-yard return. So 17 from the five is out to the 23. Not very great field position for this bad Houston team that is now down 3 nothing, And we will put them back out there, put their icon back out on the field so that you know that they've got the ball. And they're going to come out and go long. They want to go out, they're going to throw it long to the flanker with Pastor Reed. And uh, they were wrong on their guess 
And that is a five, but that's a five. It's on the New York defense long pass. And that's going to be incomplete. So we're moving down to where we are getting down to a little past halfway in the first quarter here. And they're going to go end run on second down. They're going to go end run to the halfback. And that, of course, is Fred Willis. And that's a five. That's going to be, let's see, they were right. And it's a possible defensive penalty. But let's try to resolve the play first. Um, end run five is fumble plus two and they were they were right fumble plus two two or twelve and it isn't so he gets two yards but let's see if there was a defensive penalty that's a 10 on the jets and that's going to be number six so there will be a penalty on the jets that was a running play and six is face mask, five yards from concluding line of scrimmage, and a first down. So they got the two yards, and then they got five more yards, and now they have a first and, go, a first and ten from their 30-yard line, thanks to the Jets' penalty. And they're going to go end run with a halfback again. And that's going to be another, that's another fumble, and they're right, so it's another two-yard game, but now it's a possible offensive penalty. Let's see if they've got an offensive penalty. Nine, opponent is offsides, so that would be five yards, and they would take the five-yard penalty, and so it's first and five for them. The Jets just helping them out here. They're going to go end run with the fullback this time. And that's going to be a seven, end run seven on the uh, Jets defense is two yards. So they've got a second and uh, second and uh, three. Second and three. That you know what? They're going to launch it to the flanker. They're going to go long to the flankers and hope they can get it later if they don't. The defense was right on their guess, though, and it's an eight long pass for Pastorini, which is incomplete. So they have a third and three. Third and three, they're going to go off tackle with their fullback. That is an eight off tackle on the defense. And uh, let's see. That's only going to be a yard. So now they have a decision to make. They've got a fourth and two. Now they're the, easily the worst team here. They were a terrible team. So they're going to go flat pass. They're going to go for it on fourth down. They're going to go flat pass to the tight end. And they were right. The defense was right. And it's an eight flat pass. Pastorini's card. That's receiver. They're going to refer to the tight end on the right column on a flat pass. And that is incomplete. No, wait. No, it's a six. So it isn't. It is going to be, a, as a matter of fact, seven yards. And they get the first down. They gambled. And it paid off for them. They have a first and ten at their own 45. The Jets, of course, have been helping them on this, this trip, but they're going to go end run with the halfback. And again, the halfback in this case is Fred Willis. And uh, there's a possible offensive penalty, and they were right. That's a five off tackle. Off tackle for the Jets' defense going to be fumble two yards two to six or twelve let's see if they fumble they don't so they would get two yards but let's see if they have an offensive penalty that's an eight and eight is no they don't so they do get two yards 
They pick up two yards. They've got a second and eight. And they're going to go flat pass to the split end on second down and eight. And that's going to be a nine. That's going to be a receiver. They were right, though. They'll look at the split end on eight. Split end eight right is eight yards, and they get the first down. So now they have a first down. They're into Jets territory. They have a first down at the Jets' 45-yard line. They're going to go end run with Willis. And that's a nine. And that's a nine end run. They were... It doesn't matter whether they're right or wrong. It's on the defense. But there is a possible offensive penalty. First, let's resolve the play. Nine, and this was an end run nine on the Jets' defense. And that's only going, that's going to be a negative one-yard gain. But let's see if there was an offensive penalty on them. That's a nine. Nine says opponent offside. So actually, it's on the Jets. And they've got a first and five. They have a first and, really, they have a first and five, so we'll move the thing. They're going to go end run with the fullback. So they're going to switch backs. And that is a nine, and I think that's, I think we've established that's a zero and a possible offensive penalty again. It is a negative, it's a negative one. And let's see if there's an offensive penalty on them. That is a four. Four for the uh, is opponent number three, and they were running the ball, so we'll roll the dice and see what kind of penalty that is. Seven, run, defense, seven is face mask, five yard from concluding line of scrimmage. So they lost a yard, but then they get... Um, Oh, wait a minute, and a first down. So they get the five yards and the first down. It's an automatic first down. So now they got a first down and five from the Jets 36. And they're going to go long. Pastorini's going to drop back and he's going to throw it for his flanker. That is a four. And they were wrong. And it's a four on Pastorini which is the 30-yard gain, which puts them down at the 1. Houston gets all the way down to the 1. There was no penalty on the play, no possible penalty on the play, so it's good. And now they're going to go line buck with their fullback and try to force this thing into the end zone. And that's going to be a 5. It's going to be a line buck on the Jets' defense 5, which is a possible fumble. Fumble plus 4 two to six or 12. If they don't fumble this ball, it's a touchdown. And it is a six. They do fumble two to six or 12. They get it back. They don't get it back. And the Jets are going to take over on the one yard. Well, wait a minute. They got advanced at four yards. So the Jets are going to take over on the 20 yard line. So the Jets get it. That was a big stop right there for the Jets. Huge. Because we're winding down here to almost the end of the first quarter, and the Jets are up 3 0, and they're going to go end run with a halfback. And that is a seven. And we're going to have to roll to see if they were looking for it. They were looking for the run. So it's a seven end run on the halfback. And uh, that's going to be a negative one yard, but possible offensive penalty. So let's roll for the offensive penalty. That's a nine. And nine is opponent offsides. Um, but they, yes, they're going to take the offsides. So it's going to be first and five right there and now Joe Willie Namath is going to pass 
go back and do a long pass to the flanker. They are trying to do the passing, even though it wasn't a big passing year. That is a nine, long pass. They were guessing right. And that's going to be incomplete. So incomplete pass. They go second and ten. They're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with the halfback 11 on the defense for the, that's going to be a short gain. They get a short gain. There was no penalty. It's a seven. That's going to be 15 yards. And now the Jets have it first and 10 on their, on their own 40 yard line. They've got a three nothing lead. Houston was knocking at the door, if you remember, but they didn't get it in. And now they're going to go long pass to the flanker. They're going to keep going back to that. I mean, they are playing a bad Houston team, and they know it. That's going to be a nine long pass on the Houston defense. And that's going to be negative eight. So they get sacked for an eight-yard loss. That's the first sack of the game. And that is the end of the first quarter. We're starting the second quarter. So... The Jets are at the at their own 31, so we'll put them down here at their own 31, going going this way. And they've got a uh, what do they have? Second down. I'm going to say they got a second down and 10. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So end run halfback Emerson Boozer is going to carry this one. That is a seven on the defense for Houston, end run, and it's only going to be a yard. So that's going to bring up a um, third and nine. Third and nine, they're going to go short pass to the split end. And this time it's going to be... Jerome Barkham. They're going to bring him into the game and go short pass short to him. Seven. They were wrong. And seven short pass is incomplete. And that's why. I mean, they were wrong. You know, that's how bad the passing was. So the Jets have fourth down here. They're going to punt the ball. And that's a 12. It's a terrible punt. And it's going to be blocked negative 10 yards backwards. So, um, Houston is going to take over at the 20. They are again knocking at the door of the Jets. And we'll put their icon on the field so you know they've got the ball. And, um, And they're going to go short pass themselves, short to the flanker. They can't afford to fool around because they fooled around a little bit last time and it didn't work out for them. And that's going to be a two short pass, and they are wrong. Two short pass on Pastorini. That's 11 yards. And a first down, and there is no penalty. So now it's a first and goal to nine. First and goal to nine for Houston. They're down three nothing, just three nothing. They're gonna go end run with the halfback. And that is a nine, they were right. So end run with Paul Robinson. Nine is zero yards when right. So it's second and goal. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. And so this time the fullback is Fred, Fred Willis. He is the fullback. That's going to be a nine. It's a possible defensive penalty. And they were wrong. So nine, well, it doesn't matter. It's on their defense. And it is uh, off tackle on the Jets' defense. And it's zero yards, but let's see if there was a defensive penalty on the Jets on that. And it's a five. And it is. They were offside. So that's going to be um, 
I think that's going to be five. It's still going to be five yards. I don't think it's half the distance since it's only a five yard penalty. And so now they have a, um, I think they have a second, second and goal from the four. And they're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with the halfback four on the Jets defense. Um, and that's going to be five yards and a touchdown. This time they get it. There's nothing to stop them from getting it this time. And they do the extra point, and the extra point is good. So now Houston leads in this game by the score of 7-3. to three. And now Houston's going to kick off. And in real life, I want to point out, these two teams did play. And Houston did win. That was Houston's only win of the year, was against the Jets, I believe. You can go look that up. But anyway, it was a, that's a six. And a six on the kickoff is to the seven, number one. So the Jets catch the ball at the seven. They're number one back. On kick returns is Chris Farasopoulos, and he gets a 10, which is a 20-yard return. So it was to the 8, so they're out at the 28-yard line with a first and 10. First and 10 for the Jets, so we'll put them out there so you know. Again, I mean, if you haven't caught on, whoever has the ball, they've got their helmet is up in the upper uh, left-hand corner of the field. They're going to go end run with the halfback. So Emerson Boozer doing an end run. That is a seven. It's on their defense. On the Houston defense, end run seven is one yard. So it's going to be a second and nine. They're going to go flat to the tight end. Joe Willie drops back. He passes. It's a five. Five on the flat pass on the Houston defense, and that's going to be five yards. So they have a third and four. The Jets do. They're going to go flat pass to the fullback, Rigo. Flat pass to Riggins. It is going to be a receiver, and they are wrong, and we will take a look at Riggins. And we will roll the dice on the flat pass. That is a 10 flat pass. Wrong. It's 10 yards. Riggins rumbling for 10 yards. And they have a first down. The Jets do now at their own uh, at their own 44 yard line. And they're going to go end run with Emerson Boozer. And that's going to be a seven, and they are wrong. Seven end run boozer is going to be six yards. So they've got a second and four. Second and four, they're going to go line buck with Riggins. Line buck with Riggins, they are wrong. That is a nine. There's a possible defensive penalty, but first let's see what happens on this. They get six yards, which would be the first down, but let's see what the defensive penalty yields. That is a six. That is nothing, so they do get the six yards and a first down, and the Jets are on the move. We have roughly half of the second quarter left. They're going to go end run with Boozer. They just ran Riggins, so they'll do that. That's a six. They are wrong, and it's a possible defensive penalty. But it is an end run Riggins. Six, which is two yards. But let's see if there was a defensive penalty. That is a four. And four is opponent number three. So it's going to be the Jets that have this and it was a run and uh, number three is holding 10 yards from 
the line of scrimmage. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's going to be a second down and like second and 20. They're going to go long to the flanker. Or did they just get the first down? I think they, they didn't. They got like two yards. So it isn't really going to be a second and 20. It's going to be like second and 18. So it's an eight. They were wrong. And this is a long pass. So a long pass eight on Joe Willie Namath is a double long game. And let's see what they get. That's an 11. That's going to be a touchdown, I think. Got to, got to believe that's a touchdown. It is for 70 yards. So that's a touchdown for the Jets. Their extra point is good on, it misses on 12. And they don't. So the Jets do get the touchdown. And they will kick off. The Jets kickoff is an 11, so let's see what that is, to the 12, number two. So Houston may end up with good field position on this. They catch it at the 12. Their number two back is um, Benny Johnson. He gets a nine. That's 17 yards, so not too bad. Three, 10, and four, and they're going to be first and 10 at the 39 yard line. That's where Houston's going to take the ball. And they're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback 10, and that's on the Houston defense or on the New York defense. End run. 10 is going to be eight yards. Wow. So it's going to be a second and second and two. And they're going to go line buck with their fullback, try to get this first down, and then they'll figure out what they're going to do from there. It's a six line buck on the, the uh, Jets defense. And that's going to be five yards, but there's a possible offensive penalty. This would be a first down if it's not a penalty on Houston, and it isn't. So they get a first down, and it's going to be first and 10 from the Houston 42-yard line. They're going to go end run with the halfback. They're going to try to work it down the field, running it just like the Jets did. They were right, though, and it's a 10 end run halfback. So that's going to be Paul Robinson. And that's going to be negative one because they were right. So they lose a yard at second and 11. Second and 11, Pastorini is going to drop back and go long. He's going to go long to the flanker. They're going for it all right here. That is a 10. They were right, and there's a possible offensive penalty. 10 long pass on Pastorini is incomplete. Let's see if there was an offensive penalty on them. It's a nine. And that is opponent offsides. So they're, the opponent's offsides, that's going to be a five-yard penalty. And so now it is second and, second and six, I believe. And they're going to go end run halfback on second and six. That is an eight on the end run on, and it's a possible offensive penalty. Eight end run is two yards, or wait a minute. Eight end run is zero yards, but let's see if there was an offensive penalty on that. Four, I'm really getting sick of these penalties. I mean, this is a lot of penalties. Opponent number three. So it is going to be on the Jets. And the penalty is holding 10 yards and a first down. So now the, the uh, Houston Oilers are going to be first and 10 from their own or from the uh, Jets 
44 yard line. Time is ticking off. There's 245 left in the half. They're going to end run with the halfback. That is a six, so six end run, but they were right. And that's gonna be negative eight yards, wow. So that's, that was huge. That was huge right there. They lost eight yards, so they have a second and 18. They're gonna go short to the tight end. And that is a six. They were wrong, and there's a possible defensive penalty. Six short pass is 10 yards. But let's see if there was a defensive penalty on the Jets. It's three. Opponent number one. So it's actually on Houston. They were passing. And that's offensive pass interference 10 yards from the original line of scrimmage. So that's three, five, eight. 10 so now they've got a like second and second and like 30 almost something around there they're going to go end run with a halfback now they're not going to try to get it back or at least the jets are looking pass we're just going to say that the jets are looking for the pass and that's going to be a 10 possible offensive penalty again this is annoying but um 10 end run on the Jets defense is going to be eight yards. That would make up one of the, uh, that would make up the loss. But let's see if there was an offensive penalty on Houston. It's a 12. There isn't. So they do get the eight yards. They get the eight yards that they just lost. They get that back. And so now they've got a, uh, we're at the two minute warning, so time isn't gonna move on this play. And they have a third and a long, long way to go. Third and very long, they're gonna go short to the split end. Again, the Jets looking for the pass. Possible offensive penalty, 10. Um, short pass, 10 on the Jets defense is going to be an eight yard loss but let's see if there was a penalty on them and whether the Jets even want it. It's a six, which is not. So they do sack them for an eight yard loss. And uh, time didn't move there. And so now this is fourth, this is fourth down, I think. So they're gonna punt. The punt is an eight by Houston, which is, um, 41 back one, so it's 3, 10, 20, 30, 40, and back it off two. And um, the punt returner is only one, and it's Chris Farrellopoulos, whatever his name is, and he gets a fair catch. So the Jets are going to take over right there at, the 20, at their own 22-yard line. And with the Jets having the ball, they're going to go end run with the halfback. I mean, they're up 10-3. They would be happy to go into the half like this. That is going to be a 9. And they were they guessed right, but it doesn't matter. It's on the defense. But there is an offensive, possible offensive penalty. But it's a 9 end run on Houston's defense, which is 0 yards. And possible offensive penalty is a four that is no penalty so it's going to be second and ten they're going to go short to the split end short pass to the split end that's a six possible offensive penalty and we have to roll to see if they were right or wrong um so let's see they were um, they were right, and so six offensive possible offensive penalty, but a six. Let's see a six on 
short pass first for Namath, and that is 16 yards, but let's see if there was an offensive penalty on them. That is an eight, and that is opponent number four. Opponent number four, um, I think, what was that? Was that a 16 yard or a six yard? No, it was 16 yards, so let's see what they get. A three on a pass is personal foul 15 yards from the concluding line of scrimmage. So that's going to be a 30 plus yard play. Three, 10, two, and then 15 more yards. Three, 10, two. And I think one because it was 16, not 15 on the play. So they got a first down at Houston's 47 yard line. And now they're thinking, you know, we can possibly get close enough here. They're going to go end run with the halfback. End run with the halfback, and they are wrong. And that is a, well, it doesn't matter, it's a nine. End run on the defense is zero yards. So they don't get any yards there. Second and ten, they're going to go short to the split end. Short to the split end. The defense was right, but that's a two. And that's going to be incomplete. So third and ten, they're going to go flat pass to the tight end. Flat pass to the tight end, they were right. doesn't matter. It's on their flat pass defense. Ten, and that's incomplete. So the Jets have to punt, and they will. That's an 11, but that's, that's pretty good from where they are on the field. And it's going to be a 32-yard back one punt. So 2, 10, 20, 30. They catch it right at the 20. And the punt returner is the same one, Ken Houston. That's a 6, which is a 6-yard return. So Houston will have the, the uh, ball from the 21-yard line. You got to think they're probably content also to go into the half with only a few ticks left. End run with the halfback they're going to go. And that is a six, and they were wrong. Six end run with the halfback is a short gain. That is a seven. That's going to be 15 yards. So they got a first down at the 41. They're going to take a timeout. They're going to go long to the flanker on first and 10 from there. The Jets are only going to be looking for the pass. That is a seven long pass for Pastorini. And it's a must run. And it's a 10. 10 on must run is only two yards. They're going to take their second time out. So time won't move on this play either. And they are going to go long to the, long to the split end. They're looking for the pass. It's a 9. Long nine is incomplete. And now they're just going to let the, uh, on this play, they're just going to let the, uh, the time run out. They're going to go, they got a third down. They're going to go short to the halfback. Short pass to the halfback. That's a nine possible defensive penalty. That's receiver. So they will turn over the receiver. And roll the dice. That is a seven. And it is ten yards. So they do get the first down. And it was a possible defensive penalty. So let's see 
Roll it for the Jets, four, that's nothing. So they did get the 10 yards legit. So this is the last play of the half. They're going to go long. Obviously, the Jets are looking for it. And that is going to be a 10 on the long pass defense for the Jets, which is receiver. And the receiver is the flanker. And the flanker is Ken Burroughs. And that is a 9, and a 9 is incomplete. And so that is your score at the half. The Jets leading Houston by the score of 10-7 at halftime. 1972 Oilers and 1972 Jets. Hello, football fans. We're back. We're back with the 1972 matchup between the Houston Oilers and the New York Jets. As you are well aware, if you've seen the first half, you know that the Jets are leading in this game 10-7. to And the Oilers deferred in the first half, and so they will receive the second half kickoff. And so we'll get that underway with... Uh, Bobby Howfield kicking off for the Jets. That is a 10, and it goes to the zero-yard line, back number two. So we will we'll put this right up against the goal line. Back number two is returning. That is a five, and so that is 12 yards. So Houston's going to begin with very terrible field position here. They have a first and 10 at the 12. And they are going to go off tackle with their fullback. And in this particular case, that's going to be Hoyle Granger. And that is an 8. And they are wrong. And there's a possible defensive penalty. So 8 off tackle on Granger is four yards. Let's see if there is a defensive penalty on the Jets, though. That's a five, and they are. They were offside, so they will take that penalty. And uh, they will have a first and five. So first and five, they're going to go end run with a halfback. So that's an end run with Fred Wallace. Or Fred Walls, is it? You no, know, it's Fred Wallace. And that is a seven. And uh, we'll have to see if, well, we don't have to see if they were looking for it because it's on the defense. So seven end run on the Jets defense is two yards. So that makes it third and three, or... No, second and three. Second and three, they're going to go line buck with the uh, fullback. Line buck with the fullback, they were wrong, and it's an eight. And this is Hoyle Granger, and he only gets a yard. So now it's third and two. Third and two, they are no doubt going to go flat pass to the tight end. Flat pass to the tight end with a possible defensive penalty. It is a six. And on the Jets' defense, six flat pass is five yards. It would be a first down, but let's see what, it, the, what if anything, the defensive penalty is. It's a six, so it isn't. So they do get the five yards and a first down. So Houston keeps the ball moving. They're keeping this thing moving along. They will come out and go end run with a halfback. That's Fred Wallace. And that is a three, end run, and they were wrong. That might be big. It isn't, though. It's four yards. <laughs> four yards, so it's second and six. And they're going to go... 
flat pass to the tight end again. Flat pass to the tight end. And that is a four flat pass. That might be picked off by the Jets. Intercepted two to six. Whoa. It is. It's picked off by the Jets. And let's see what the return is. That's an eight, which is not going to be great. It's going to be a four-yard return. So um, they pick it off here, and then they return it four, and now the Jets have the ball going the other way. So that was a that was an unfortunate turn of events there for Houston. And now the Jets are going to go end run with Emerson Boozer, the halfback. And that is a 10, and they were right. So Emerson Boozer, end run 10, right is only a yard. It's going to be second and nine. They're going to go flat to the tight end. They are far enough out. They can do a flat pass. That is a 12. 12, and they were right. And there's a possible defensive penalty. So 12 is, let me see, five yards. But let's see if there was a defensive penalty on Houston. Eight, there isn't. So it is a five-yard pickup. So it is third and four. Third and four, they're going to go off tackle with Riggins. Riggo. They're going to give the ball to Riggo. And he gets a seven. There's a possible offensive penalty, but they were wrong. Uh, seven off tackle wrong is a short gain first though let's see if there's an offensive penalty on them five five there is an offensive penalty they're off sides so that's going to knock them back to uh third and third and nine so they have a third and nine and they are going to Go short to the tight end. Short pass to the tight end, six. They were wrong. And that is 16 yards. So that gets the Jets the first down. They have a first and 10 at the Houston 14. They like that play so much, they're going to go short again. This time they're going to go short to Barkham, Jerome Barkham, who's going to come into the game. They were right, and it's an eight short pass on Houston's defense. And that is going to be 12 yards, and that puts them down at the two. So the Jets have a first and goal from the two. Not a great situation, especially with Riggins here, and they're going to do... A line buck with Rigo. And that is a four, and they were wrong. So I don't like the chances. Line buck four, that is a touchdown. Touchdown for the Jets. Their extra point misses on 12. And it does not. So the Jets take a... Uh, 17 to 7 lead will kick off. That's a 6, and 6 on the kickoff is touchback. So Houston will have it first and 10 at the 20 yard line. And now Houston's got their work cut out for them. They're down by 10. They don't have a very good team, obviously. They only won one game in 1972. So they are going to come out and go end run with Fred Wallace. 
And that is a four, but they were right. And end run four is five yards, still five yards. So they have a second and five. They're going to go off tackle with their fullback, Granger, Hoyle Granger. And they were right. Possible offensive penalty, though, and it's a six off tackle on the Jets' defense, which is five yards. It'll be a first down if there's no offensive penalty on Houston, and that's a five. And they uh, actually do have a penalty. They're offsides. So that's going to be a second and five, or second and ten. Second and ten after the penalty, they're going to go short pass to the tight end. Pastorini is going to drop back and throw it. And that is a six, and they were wrong. Six short pass on Pastorini's card is a ten-yard pickup and a first down. There is no penalty. So Houston gets the first down. They keep the ball moving. That's what they got to do here. End run with the halfback, Fred Wallace. That is a 10, and they were wrong. They were wrong on their guess. So it's a 10, end run. And that is going to be four yards. Four yards, they got a second and six. They're going to go flat pass to the tight end. And that is a 10, and they were wrong, but there's a possible offensive penalty. Let's see what 10 is wrong on flat pass. It's nine yards, but let's see if they have a penalty. Five, I bet they do. Yes, they do. They're off sides again. So it's back to now a, uh, what is that going to be? Second and, I think they had, this is going to be, I think this is going to be third. I want to uh, second. I want to say second. It's going to be second and nine. So second and nine, they're going to go short pass to the split end. Short to the split. It's an 11 short pass. Possible offensive penalty, though. But it's going to be uh, wait. It's going to be a long game. It'll be a long game if they don't have an offensive penalty, which they probably will. It's a nine, and they do. No opponent was offside, so they're going to refuse the penalty, and they're going to take the play. The long gain is a four, and that is a 55-yard gain. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and five. And now Houston has a first and 10, at the Jets' 15-yard line. And they're going to go end run with the halfback, Wallace. And that is a 10, possible offensive penalty. Um, 10 wrong, though. And that's going to be four yards, but let's see if there was an offensive penalty on them. That's a six. That isn't, so it is four yards. So we've got a second and six. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback, Hoyle Granger. That is a six. And uh, they were looking. I want to say they were looking for the run. Let me see. Let me check that. They are looking for the run. 
So they're looking for the run, and it's a six, um, six off tackle on Granger. And it's only one yard. And it would have been only one yard, even if they'd been wrong. So they have a third and five. Third and five, they're going to go, they're going to try to, well, let's see. They're going to go end run with the halfback, Wallace. End run four, possible defensive penalty, and they were wrong. End run four should be pretty good on the defense. It is five yards. It would be a first down. And let's see if there's a defensive penalty on the Jets. That is a seven. There isn't. So it is five yards and a first down, and they have a first and goal, Houston does, at the uh, Jets' five-yard line. And they're going to try to pop it in. Right now, they're going to go short to the tight end. Short to the tight end, seven. Possible offensive penalty. And that's going to be a negative nine. It's going to be a sack. But let's see if there's an offensive penalty. It's a five. Um, it is offsides. But the Jets will refuse that, and they'll take the uh, eight-yard sack. So now it is second and goal from a little further out this time. So now they got to go short to the split end. Now they got to pass. That's going to be an eight short pass on the Jets defense. And that's going to be a 12 yard gain. And that puts them at the one. So now they have a third and goal from the one. Third and goal from the one, they're going to go line buck with their fullback. And that is an 11 line buck on the Jets' defense. Don't like their chances of stopping them, but they do. It's a negative one. So now they have a decision to make. They got a fourth and goal from the two, Houston does. And they're going to go off tackle with the halfback Wallace. They're going to run it. They're going to go for it. They really, and really, what kind of a choice do they actually have? you got to really figure, got to figure they got to do it. That is a six line buck. Is that right? Oh, no, off tackle. Six off tackle on the Jets' defense, and that is going to be five yards and a touchdown, Houston. So Houston does have a touchdown. The extra point misses on 11, and it doesn't. So Houston's right back in this thing now. It is 14 to 17, 17 to 14, Jets leading. And now... The, uh, the Oilers will kick off. That is a nine. And nine is a touchback. So the Jets are going to have a first and 10 at the 20. And the third quarter is just about to wind down here. They're going to go end run with their halfback. And that is going to be a seven. And a seven when they are guessing right. And um, what was this? End run with Emerson Boozer, seven. That's going to be negative one. So it's second and 11. They're going to go short to the tight end. Joe Willie Davis dropping back to pass. He gets an eight. That's a possible defensive penalty, and they were right. 
So eight on a short pass is incomplete. And let's see if there was a defensive penalty on Houston. Five, looks like offsides again, that old offsides. So that'll give the Jets five yards and it'll be a second and six. And um, on second and six, they're gonna go end run with the halfback again. And it's a possible defensive penalty and it's a nine wrong. So end run with Boozer, nine wrong is four yards, but let's see if there's a defensive penalty on Houston. That's a 10 and it is going to be a, a number seven. We'll have to check number seven on a run. That's going to be a face mask five yards from concluding line of scrimmage and a first down. So four and then five and the Jets have a first and 10 at their own 34 yard line. And we have a change of a uh, quarter. So the Jets will be at this 34 yard line going this way. And we are in the fourth quarter in a good game. Jets ahead 17-14 with a first down here. And they're going to go end run with their halfback again. And that's going to be an eight when they're right. Boozer eight end run right. And that's going to be five yards, surprisingly. So they get a second and five. Second and five. Joe Willie's going to launch it. He's going to go long to the flank. And that's going to be a five or a four, four when they're wrong on a long pass. Uh, Namath is incomplete. So it's uh, going to be a third and five. Third and five, they're going to go flat to the tight end. And that is going to be, they were wrong and it's a 10 flat pass, which is intercepted plus five, two to 10. Wow. And that's if they're wrong, which they were. And it is. It's intercepted five yards downfield. So Houston returning from this uh, line. And that's a seven. That's going to be a zero yard return, I believe. It is. But Houston has the ball now. And they have the ball in Jets territory. Houston with the ball at the Jets. 44-yard line on a key interception by Joe Willie Namath, and they're going to go end run with Fred Wallace, their halfback. And that's a four, end run, wrong, on Will uh, Willis, not Wallace. And that's going to be five yards. So second and five. They're going to go short to the split end. They're going to break out the pass past Rini going back. He gets a six short pass on the Jets defense. And that's going to be incomplete. So it's going to be third and five. They're going to go flat to the tight end. Flat pass to the tight end seven. Possible defensive penalty and they were right. So seven is incomplete, but let's see if there was a defensive penalty. That's a nine on the Jets. That's going to be opponent offsides, but needing five yards, the Jets are going to refuse the penalty and they're going to force Houston into a decision here on fourth and five in no man's land. They're going to punt. 
And that is an eight on the punt, which is 41 back one. So that's going to nail them deep because they're at the 44. So that'll nail them returning from the three with back number one. And that's a seven. It's on the uh, Houston punt return. And that's eight yards. So they're going to have a first and 10 at the 11. So they did nail them deep, and that was what they were hoping to do with that decision. And they're going to go end run with Emerson Boozer, the uh, Jets are. That is an eight end run possible defensive penalty, though. Uh, end run eight is two yards, but let's see if there was a defensive penalty on Houston, which there almost always is when it comes up, and it is opponent offsides. So the Jets, instead of gaining yards, they're losing them. They have a second and 15. Second and 15, they're going to go off tackle with Rigo. And that is a six off tackle, and they're looking for the pass. Oh, it doesn't matter, it's on the defense. So six off tackle on Houston's defense is five yards. So they get the penalty back, and they have a second and basically a second and ten. And really, that is what they have. Second and ten, they're going to go end run with Boozer. End run three should be a short gain, but there's a possible offensive penalty. I'll roll for that first. That's a seven. And no, there isn't. So we're going to roll for the short gain. No penalty. And that is a seven, which is going to be 15 yards. And the Jets have a first and 10 at their 26-yard uh, line. They worked their way out of that mess that they had after Houston uh, punted, and they had a five-yard penalty. So now they're going to go off tackle with Riggins. Off tackle Riggins, 12, and they're looking for the run. And that's going to be zero yards because they were looking for it. So it's going to be second and ten. They're going to go flat to the tight end. Flat pass to the tight end three. Not looking for it. That's going to be a short gain. And the short gain is only going to be about 11 yards. And that's exactly what it is. But it gets them the first down at the 42-yard line. So they have a first and 10, or no, they have a first and 10 at the 36-yard line. So they're going to go back to the old end run, end run with Boozer. They're just going to grind, ground and pound, pound and ground, pound on the ground. <laughs> and that is going to be a four. They were wrong. End run Boozer wrong. And that's going to be three yards. So it's a second and seven. Second and seven are going to go flat to the tight end. Flat to the tight end seven. And uh, that is going to be a short gain. Houston's defense, not very good. Six is going to be 16 yards. So 15, 16, and that works them down into Houston territory. Now Houston's in real trouble because time is ticking away. We got about half of the fourth quarter left to play. And uh, the Jets in Houston territory, they're going to go off tackle with Rigo. And that's going to be a six off tackle, possible defensive penalty, but they're looking 
for the pass. So six off tackle, wrong, is nine yards, but let's see if there was a defensive penalty that might make that even better. Five, it's offsides on Houston. They're not, they're gonna refuse that. They'll take the nine yards and they got a second and one. Second and one, they're gonna go line buck with the halfback boozer. And that is a nine possible offensive penalty, but line buck nine is four yards. Let's see if there was an offensive penalty. There, of course, is. It was offsides. Uh, so that's going to knock them back five, and they're going to have a second and six. Second and six, they're going to go... They're going to drop back and go short to the tight end. Short pass, tight end, eight, and they were wrong. And that's going to be receiver. And the tight end is Rich Caster. That is an eight. And that's going to be 22 yards. One, 10, 20, and one. So now they really are taking it to Houston. Houston's got real problems here. They're, they're only down by three, but the Jets are moving the ball. And they're down at the Houston 19. They're going to go end run with Emerson Boozer. That is a seven end run. And that's going to be a yard. So they got a second and nine. They're going to go off tackle with Rigo. That's a seven off tackle on the uh, defense for Houston. And that's going to be two yards. So now they got a third and seven. Third and seven, they're going to go short to the flanker. And this time it's Jerome Barkham. They're going to bring him in. Short nine is going to be 12 yards. Wait a minute. No, no receiver. It's going to be receiver. So we will look at Barkham and roll the dice. That is a five, and they were they were wrong, so it's 16 yards. And that is going to be 11, five, that is, yeah, they that's a touchdown. So with a touchdown, they'll kick the extra point, and it is good. That gives the Jets... 24 here and the Jets take a 24 to 14 lead and they're going to kick off and the kickoff is an 11 and that's to the 12 number two Houston might get good field position out of this but field position is the least of their worries right now um, and uh, number two back on the return That's an eight. It's on the Jets card. And that's going to be 34 yards. So they do get really good field position. Three, 10, 20, 30, and one. They're up almost at midfield now. First and 10 at their own 46-yard line. They're going to go short pass to the flanker. Pastorini's going to drop back and pass it. That is a 10 when they are wrong. 10 short pass is negative eight. All right, now they're going to, the Jets are only gonna be looking for pass. And that is exactly what Houston's gonna do. They're gonna go short to the split end. And that's going to be an eight short pass on the Jets defense. And that's going to be 12 yards. So they have a uh, third and six. 
They got a big chunk of that back, but they still need to go short. They're going to go short to the tight end. The Jets, of course, still looking for the pass. That is a three short pass, and that's going to be incomplete. And we're at the two-minute warning to boot. So time doesn't move on this play if Houston makes a play. They need six yards. They're going to go for it. They're going to go short to the split end. They've got to go for it. I mean, they got two minutes left, and they're down by 10 points. With the Jets looking for the pass, it is a seven. That's probably going to be a sack, but there's a possible defensive penalty. Seven short pass is a negative nine sack, but let's see if the Jets had a penalty. Seven. They don't. So they do knock them back eight. And that whole time, Houston had the ball, and I didn't change the uh, icon. But anyway, now the Jets do have the ball. And time didn't move on that, and so they're going to go end run with Emerson Boozer. And that's going to be a six. Six and run on the Houston defense is going to be six yards. So it's going to be second and four. They're going to go flat pass to the tight end. They need a turnover. Houston needs a turnover right here. Seven flat pass on the Houston defense is a short gain. That is a seven, and that's going to be um, 15 yards. So now they've got a first, and the Jets have a first and 10 at the Houston 21. They're going to go end run with Emerson Boozer. That is an eight with a possible offensive penalty. End run eight is two yards, but let's see if they had an offensive penalty. Eight, opponent number four. So a run number four is personal foul 15 yards from the line of scrimmage, which would probably, well, they I think they can still do it. They're outside the 20. I think they would still give them the full 15. So it's a 17-yard total, and that puts them down to the four-yard line. Where the Jets have a first and goal at the four, and they're going to go off tackle with Rigo. Off tackle, Riggins, seven on the Houston defense. That's going to be two yards. And uh, they've got a second and goal. They're going to go line buck with Emerson Boozer. And that is a 10, line buck 10 on the uh, def Houston defense. And that's zero yards. So now they got a third and goal from the two. They're going to go end run with Rigo. End run Rigo, that's an eight. They were wrong. And uh, that's going to be four yards on a touchdown. And the extra point misses on 12. They don't. So... That takes them up to 31. Is that right? Yep. 31, 14, and the Jets will kick off. And that is a four. That's going to be a touchback. So Houston will have it first and 10 at their 20. Really not much they can do.
They're going to go long pass to the flanker. Predictable. And, of course, the Jets will be looking for the pass. That's going to be a six. Long pass six against the Jets. Defense is intercepted two to six, 11 or 12. Nine. It is not intercepted. They're going to go long to the split end. Of course, the Jets looking for the pass. That is a six long, and that's going to be possibly intercepted too. And that one is. So that one is intercepted 31 yards downfield. Oh, wait a minute. No, it isn't. I guess I was wrong before. It was 2 to 3 or 12. So it isn't intercepted. But this is their last, this is the last play of the half. They're just going to go end run with a half back. That is a six end run looking for the pass. And that's going to be negative one yard. And that is the final score. That's all you wrote. That's all she wrote, everybody. Final score here from the Houston Astrodome. The New York Jets, 31, Houston, 14.